Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Valheim. In today's episode, we're exploring the seas, because we need to find another swamp. Because the one over here is tiny. Tiny. And then, maybe in the next episode, we'll uh, move all our things over to this new kind of base area location. But I'm really worried about that plains biome, so I might not. If you have any recommendations of what I can do to kind of disable the little mini planes biome here, please let me know what I can do down in the comment section. Uh, but for now, sailing the high seas. Now, I've brought everything I should need. I got a bow, crap ton of arrows, I got my hammer, I got enough stuff to build a portal I need to go back. Uh-huh, because I'm a genius. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, yep. So, I have to go back to base, because I'm an idiot. Um, I forgot to build my portal that I'm going to use to travel from base to the swamp eventually when I find it. I'm sure there's one down here somewhere. But uh, I need a portal set up on this end, which is why I have enough materials for two portals. Because I need to make one here and one in the far off distance um yeah i also have enough resources for a workbench when i eventually end up needing it because i'll need to build that uh portal and a little mini base to go with it but i'm sure i'll be able to cut down trees for the base building portion uh i got the ichthyr buff ready to go uh because the elder one just isn't gonna be necessary for what we're, we're doing in today's episode. Oh, look at that parking job. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Fuck! <laughs> I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Alright, well, let's quickly get out and build up my portal. And then we'll be on the way. Uh, in the meantime, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section what kind of games you'd like to see me play in the future. I haven't been hearing a lot from you guys, but I would certainly love to hear from you guys a little more. Um, I was thinking if you guys are interested, I might play some Ark Survival Evolved uh, in the future. I got that on uh, PC here. So that would be easy to do. Um, another option is things like Minecraft, or if you know any good story based single player games. I have been desperately looking for some, but I'm really struggling to find any good ones. Um, so if you want to see me play anything, just let me know down in the comment section. Uh, swamp? Swamp. We're calling it Swamp. And we'll leave and uh, set back out on the boat because I definitely didn't fuck up the first time. Uh, I should also make sure I repair the boat because I don't want it getting fucked up. There we go. I uh, definitely have a chance of encountering sea serpents because I have quite a lot of ocean to traverse. Um, as you can see, I have traversed it a little bit in the past because I went out looking for, I think, a black forest or something. I don't remember what I was doing when I went there, but I went there. That's about all you need to know. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to start my sailing, and I'll uh, see you guys when I find land or something interesting. All right. So, we have tracked down a black forest. Uh, it was super foggy and super dark, so I didn't really show you guys sooner. Um, but I'm just skirting around it, trying to find a swamp. Um, I will be able to identify it by the types of trees that are in the swamp. Uh, they're very spindly and unique, so I'll be able to tell when I find it. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a stick. It looks like a skeleton sitting on the beach. Um, I appear to have stumbled across a meadows, but no... Uh, swamp. Sorry, I saw this little dark spot, and I wasn't sure if there was, like, a swamp sn sneaking in there. Uh, unfortunately, the wind's traveling against us right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep going around, and I'll catch you guys up in a minute. Well, I definitely found a mountain biome. 
In fact, the biggest I have ever seen. Um, I'm going the wrong way for the wind. I'm going to whip around real quick. Uh, the mountain biome is not useful to me right now. But maybe on the other side of it, there could be a swamp, you know? I'm just trying to use my brain here. I'm trying to find this goddamn swamp. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you guys the really cool looking mountain. Honestly, it looked cooler from a little further away, but as soon as I started recording, it started loading in too much, so it didn't look as neat. But it's still cool. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys... Oh my god, the wind! It just turned around on me. God damn it. Turning around. Yeah, yeah. Stupid wind. Changing all the time. What does it think it is? A natural form of weather? Pfft. Nah, it's not allowed to move. Anyway, I'm gonna continue my journey. I just thought I'd let you guys see the cool-ass mountain. See you guys in a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a swamp. I can tell because of that tree without any leaves or needles on it. Here's to hoping it's actually a large swamp and not just that tiny ass sorry excuse for a swamp we saw way up here. I guess we'll find out momentarily, won't we? I mean, it looks big. Looks like a good size swamp. Looks like a great size swamp. Awesome. So now that we know it's here, we'll set up a little, uh, base location nearby. I'll just set it up, like, right over on that little section of Black Forest. Um, and once I do that, and get a portal set up, I'll, uh, let you guys know, and then we'll venture into the swamp. See if we can't track down one of those little crypt things. I forgot my swamp key. It's okay, I'll make a portal anyway, and I'll be able to go back. We'll be fine. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so when I said I was going to make a small outpost from my portal, I really meant small. Uh, I just made it two blocks high. On the inside, all I have is the teleporter. And that's it. Um, I've already gone through. I got my swamp key. I slept through the night, so I have a rested bonus. And I am uh, ready to head on out. Let me just mark this real quick. Portal plus boat. Because I'm not going to leave my boat at the edge of the swamp. I'm just going to walk over there. Um, this is a great time for me to uh, suggest maybe uh, liking and subscribing on the video if you uh, like it. If you don't like it, leave a dislike even though no one can see it. And uh, more importantly, leave me a comment as to what I can do better. Because I always want to improve. I need to eat my food. Um, I have the... Boar jerky for a little bit more health, uh, the deer meat also for health, and then the queen's jam for stamina. I think it's going to be a great little combination. I've got a decent balance. And now i got to be really careful, because these draugr can kick my ass. Like, if they snuck on me as well as these gray dwarfs did, I'd be screwed. Maybe not entirely, but it'd be pretty bad. Pew! Pew! Alright, so, moving into the sw uh, swamp here a little bit. I hesitated because I forgot what it was called. Oh god, I am not ready to die. Not ready at all. If I can take out my enemies mostly from afar, I'll be happy. It was a weird sound, right? Sound, sounds like flapping of wings. Like, really fast. Might as well take those. Don't mind if I do. Alright. <clears throat> My whole goal is to not die. There's a neck nearby. Don't know where, but I heard a neck. Um, I haven't seen any Draugr just yet, though I am pretty blind when it comes to this kind of stuff, so I could just be wrong. 
What is that? Some sort of structure. Kill this grayling real quick. There appears to be a structure over here, and then there's a tree with some gunk on it. So let's go to the structure first. I know I'm not supposed to, like, go in the water. Because there's, like, leeches or something. Unfortunately, I'm also permanently wet. Which is unpleasant. Alright, I think this is one of those, like, crypts that I'm supposed to find. Okay, so I had to use my gate key to get in here. Let's, uh... Make sure I'm not being followed here. And make my way down. Oh god, I am terrified. Okay, sunken crypts. I do not know what the goal is in here exactly. The whole floor is wet. At least I have a sheltered bonus. A muddy scrap pile. Am I supposed to like mine through that or something? Anyway, I can hear things on the other side of it, so let's go this way first. Uh, oh god. They're swimming in here? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. There seems to be nothing in here, though. Nothing down that way. Good to know. Sorry you guys can't see very well. I forgot to bring a torch. Probably would have been a good idea to bring. What the hell are you? Shoot this and then I'll deal with the Draugr. Draugrs are very annoying, especially the archers. Okay, nothing else in here yet. Oh shit! Came out of nowhere. Okay. That went surprisingly well. But they can fucking crawl under there? That's terrifying. Okay. Any more gonna come through? While I'm not looking? I got ooze. Which is a crafting material for an ooze bomb? What does that even mean? Uh, ancient bark. Which allows me to build a bonfire? Poison arrows. That's dope. And a withered bone. Interesting. I'm gonna have to pick and choose what I carry with me on this trip. Because I have quite limited access to uh, inventory space, unfortunately. So I'm gonna get rid of a few things now so that I can pick things up in the heat of a moment. I also may or may not have taken too many arrows with me. I think I did. Okay, there's stuff over there. I can swim under here, so I'm gonna do that. But I wanna make sure I'm equipped and ready to go if something breaks out here. Got my butt, my shield out. I'm not gonna be murdered yet. Muddy scrap pile, muddy scrap pile. So it looks like everything's kind of blocked behind these muddy scrap piles. I'm going to have to take my pickaxe to it. Gross. Ew. I'm terrified to dig into this and get attacked immediately. Can I not use my shield at the same time? That'd be great. What is on the ground? Scrap iron. Why am I not picking that up? Get that out of here. Pick up the iron. That's probably going to be a key resource. And it can't be brought through a portal. Love that. I'm not surprised. Disappointed, yes. But not surprised. Leather scraps? Why leather scraps? Whatever, I guess get rid of that. Yellow mushrooms I don't find too useful anyway. And I can find them pretty much everywhere, so. Not that I can't find leather scraps everywhere. It's just less valuable to me, in my opinion. 
Okay. I want to make sure I hit every last bit of this muddy scrap so that I can get as much scrap uh, iron as possible. Now, while I have the opportunity, let's just shoot through this. Because, hey, might as well cheese my way through the dungeon, right? Fuck, stop moving. Oh my god. Okay. Let's take one more hit. I still don't think he can get through, so... We can just kind of lay it into him. Oh man, I missed. Get back here. Alright. Easy, said the man who may or may not have almost died getting here. What is that? Oh, this is one of those things that spawn droggers. I should take care of that as quickly as possible. Alright. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, iron head arrows. Ooh. Let's take those. And equip just like my flint ones, because why not? Um, iron arrows. Those are going to be nice. Withered bone, ruby. I need room for a ruby. Don't really need a Draugr trophy. Uh, the mushrooms I can't hold. Oh, I should have drank one of those before even coming in here. Um, all right. Time to break the rest of this and then continue on. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, if you want me to cut any of this out, let me know in the comment section, and I can cut things out in the next episode, or in future episodes. Come on, hit it. Hit it! Okay, I guess not. Let's just chip way away through this. Get all sorts of scraps. Wither bones, leather scraps, hopefully iron scraps. Um, apparently get some mana back up. Nice, this is going to be great. Already getting a good chunk of uh, this scrap iron. I'll take as much of that as I can out to my boat. Luckily this... Uh, the uh, little crypt that I found is actually pretty close to my boat and my teleporter, so it should be easy to come in and out of here multiple times. I'm probably going to need a few trips, so... Make sure there's no one coming behind me. And I'm just going to keep chipping away at this. Um, so I guess i see you guys in a second. Alright, I got through and it's just a little T intersection with more scrap piles. I'm definitely going to have to take a trip out of here eventually to repair my pickaxe. Uh, I didn't realize how much this burns through my pickaxe, <laughs> so, uh, it'll also be a good chance to drop off some of my resources, so I'm not as full. I should carry some stuff. And now I just have more muddy scrap piles to dig through, but hey, more iron, so. And I don't think I'm gonna have to alloy any of the iron. Like I had to with uh, the copper and the tin. Luckily, droggers are dumb, so I can kill them pretty straightforward. Can't get through here, though. Let's uh, break some more of this muddy scrap. Break as, like I said, as much as possible, because more iron the better. That hit, nice. Alright. Uh, grab this and that, just in case there's anything over here. Okay. This goes very deep. I wasn't expecting to have to travel this far. Um, that was kind of cool. Nice little exploration. Dungeon crawl, for sure. It's uh, been a while since I've had a new dungeon crawl to do, and uh, this is very new, so very exciting. 
Um, but I'm very glad I brought my pickaxe along, because this would be, like, literally impossible. So I'm at full weight, which means I'm going to have to find something else to carry. Well, something else to drop is what I meant to say, but I did not, so. Alright. So what can I drop here? Um, oh, I get to keep my swamp key. I didn't know that. Let's drop... I mean, I could drop some more arrows. What would dropping 50 of those give me? Enough room for... Not quite all the iron. What if I drop another half? No? All of it? No? Hmm. Apparently arrows don't weigh that much. Uh, surprise, surprise. Ooze. Entrails. Ancient bark. Leather scraps. Get rid of the leather scraps. There's more scrap iron here, though. Uh, the entrails. The... Let's eat something. Great, that got some off of me. If I get rid of... I forgot I had those. Let's just get some more fire arrows out of here. I mean, I know I spent a lot on them, but uh, I need the weight, so. Can I move now? I can't. Any more scrap iron on the ground? No. Okay. Still a little bit of money scrap, but I'm going to have to come back here anyway, so. Let's make my way out of here. If I can remember how. And also don't get killed in the process. That's kind of kind of important. Forgot I had to swim under here. Disgusting. Uh, and then through here. And uh, out the exit. Alright, so I'm going to go drop some things off and I'll be right back. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by roots? Excuse the hell out of you, swamp. What the hell was that? I'll try and catch it on camera for you guys, but holy Jesus. It's a terrifying take on a treant. Look at that. Look at that thing. Just trying to get back to the crypt. Alright, that's all I want. I don't want this bullshit. Oh god. I don't like this at all anymore. My first entry into the swamp was very peaceful. This is whatever the opposite of that is. Chaotic. I know English. Uh, okay. Maybe I can hit it from afar. Pew! Does it have a health bar? I don't know. Oh, it walks fast, though. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Let's see if I can't take it out with some fire arrows, you know? Fire arrow rocher. It's disgusting. I hate it. It doesn't seem to have a health bar. That won't stop me from shooting it, though. Deal with this frickin' blob first. Okay. Okay, piss off, you grayling. Who do you think you are? I'm literally fighting a frickin' three-legged tree monster. You got nothing on that, grayling. I don't know where it went, though. Which is concerning. There it is. I was like, there is a tiny chance I killed it. Because of burn damage. But no, I did not. I very much did not. Ah, it's Abomination. And it does have a health bar. One that goes down very, very slowly. I've ran out of big trees to block me in. 
Or to block it out, I suppose. That missed? I am perturbed. Right now it's just trying to get to me, but I'm just trying to kill it from a distance, you know? I think fire damage is working a decent amount. I still got some arrows left. Although this doesn't seem to be doing a lot, but it's doing something, so that's good enough for me. I just don't want it to get too close, because it was doing some sort of, like, root attack. Where it sent roots through the ground at me. And, uh, I don't want to get hit by that shit. Oh, accidentally released too early. It can break trees down, too. That's li nice. Lovely and nice, is what I was trying to say. So I almost just said lice. That's lice. Don't you think? I want to make sure I have stamina when it comes at me again. But I don't want it to get away. I don't know if it can, like, heal or anything. I just want this abomination dead, okay? I want to know what it drops. I mean, it's getting kind of low. It's weird that I can't see its health bar as far away as I can see, like, a troll's health. But I guess it shows less signs of being wounded, so that kind of makes sense. Because, you know, it is just a tree monster thing. It's not going to, like, bleed like a troll does. It's almost dead, though. Aha! I did it! Just in case it, like, spawns something when it dies. It does not. But what does it drop? Uh, root. Which allows me to craft stuff? I also got a trophy from it, which is nice. Uh, guck and ooze. So I dropped a few things. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I can craft anything with the amount that it dropped, but I'm going to quickly go drop these off and then I'll come back and try and go back into the swamp crypt. Actually, I'm kind of running out of time for the episode, uh, so I'm going to end this one here. In the next episode, we'll go back to the crypt and uh, check it out a little bit. I'll just leave this marker here and say there's a crypt right in that area. Don't, not necessarily exactly there, but it's in that area. Um, so that's gonna do it for today's episode. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. If you didn't, leave a comment down below as to what I can do better. I always try to strive for self-improvement. Self um, apparently aside from English, I'm pretty good. <laughs> and without further ado, have a lovely rest of your day, evening, morning, afternoon, and night. Bye-bye. Uh,